It's official. The Murray River has, in 2022, surpassed the 1931 flood level, and this makes the current flood the second largest in recorded history and the biggest in nearly 70 years. The predicted peak is due in just over a week. The biggest change in the town itself since my last visit about a month ago is the construction of the levee bank down the main street on the riverside. The Pretoria Hotel at the start of the levee has been forced to close due to water in its underground cellars. Both ferries have ceased operation and the caravan park has been closed. So this is the business that was under threat and the water is in the building. That's not a tap running. So this is looking across the river at Balto and Haythorpe Reserve. A bit of footage from the drone now, which really shows the extent of the flooding across the floodplain and also the levee bank work around the town. This area is the Marianne Reserve and you can see the Murray River Princess tied up in the background. Just the other day there was a major concern when the river water flowed back up a stormwater drain and pulled on the wrong side of the levee. 
Residents were temporarily evacuated while the breach was sealed, and even today there is a CFS truck in situ pumping water back into the river. So I'm on the Manham Lookout, looking back towards the Lions, Lions Park, and you can see that uh, this road down here is flooded. And re-emerges from the water over there, and they've actually put a, uh, a block in the road. I guess to stop people charging into it late at night when they've had a skin full. So this is looking upstream or slightly northerly and all the flood water uh, the floodplain sorry is inundated. That's Kawara over there. And then as we come back down towards now looking down the river in a southerly direction towards Manham, that is Bolto and Haythorpe Reserve on the far side and all flooded. So all those sandbags did nothing. So this is the Lions Park bird hide, well and truly flooded. And down there is the ferry landing, or well, just past around the corner there is the ferry landing. Both ferries are floating but secured up to the bank, they're not operating. So when you consider that the floodplain here is probably only a couple of kilometres wide from where I'm standing on this high ground across to the high ground on the other bank, the water can't really spread out much so the only option is for it to go up. Another road over there ending in the drink. some time before they use that again. Before heading back to Adelaide, I went to Manor Waters Marina and did a few more drone shots. There is a lot more water there now than there was a month ago. Houseboat owners are going to have to be very careful when the water level starts to drop to make sure they don't get stranded. And then of course, there's the clean up. <laughs> 